What up? This is Roche here from Real Digital Success. And today I'm going to show you how you can do affiliate marketing properly without having a website. Hey! I'm going to show you the specific steps from giving a affiliate program to actually promoting it. I'm going to show you a few resources that you can use and basically get you ready to start after this video. But before we get into this, I would like to remind you to take a look at the description of this video because there I will be putting all the resources you're going to need to do affiliate marketing without a website, plus other resources that can help you on your affiliate marketing journey. So now that we got that out of the way, let's get into the video. So first off, we're going to start with getting our affiliate links. There are all kinds of uh, affiliate marketing places where you can get your affiliate links. Uh, but the two that I would recommend because you're not using a website are going to be ClickBank and one a little bit less popular, but has a lot of uh, good products and it's called Digistore24. There are a lot of other marketplaces that you can go to such as JVZoo and Warrior Plus and all those others, but I like ClickBank and Digistore24 a little bit more uh, when it comes to doing it without a website because there you don't need to get permission first to be able to promote the websites because most of the time when you need permission, they're going to ask you for a website URL and we're going to do affiliate marketing without a website. So as you can see here, I'm now at the website of Digistore24 and it's basically the same like ClickBank, uh, but it's just the European version of it. So I'm just going to log in and then I'm going to show you how easy it is. So normally what you do is you'll make an account and they're just going to ask you some simple questions like your name, email address and all the kind of stuff. But after you do that, you can click on marketplace right here and then you can find all kinds of affiliate offers that you can, uh, that you can use for your, to make money with affiliate marketing. So what I'm going to do is just show you a few examples and show you what you should look out for because, because I don't recommend just promoting any kind of product because to get sales, you need trust and you need to be able to build a reputation. So that's why you need to promote credible, working, high quality products. So what we're going to do, and it doesn't matter if you're doing ClickBank or Digistore24, you're going to have to look at the performance of a specific product. So for example here, we got the prop challenge. It got a three star in popularity. That's comprised of a lot of different kind of elements. Uh, but most of the time with Digistore24, I don't go below the, the three stars. And you can see a little bit about the information here. So first you have the card conversion. Uh, which is 1%, that means that 1% uh, of the people that uh, see that offer, they buy something, and uh, which is pretty reasonable in my opinion. Some people uh, go for higher percentages, but I've noticed with Digistore24 that the ones that have a lot of higher percentages, uh, they have a high cancellation rate, which, does, which this one has not, because from what you can see here, 4.6%, 4, 4 uh, cancels uh, it after they purchased it, which means 4.6% of that uh, could be a refund. So if these kind of numbers are acceptable for you, you can uh, think about you can think about promoting the product. As you can see here, there's a 35% commission that you'll get uh, off of the average sale, and average earnings seem to be around the $225.44. Does this mean everybody earns this? Probably not. It's an average, so it can all it can differ a little bit because probably uh, in this is also like upsells and all the kind of stuff calculated in, and not everybody's going to uh, buy the same amount of upsells. Then you also on the side here you can see the sales page and the affiliate support page, so you can look a little bit uh, at the funnel and see if it's. Uh, a great funnel because sometimes you promote products and you can't get them to sell purely because the funnel to get people to the sale sucks. Uh, but seeing as the cancellation rate is that low, I could probably uh, anticipate from that that the funnel is reasonable. So 
how do you get your links? You'll simply press on this and then you'll uh, get your request and then they'll show you in a few business days if you're applicable for that. This differs for every product. Some products you'll get the link right away. Others, it's going to take a few days. But what I like about this compared to, for example, JVSU and stuff, is that there aren't that strict with it. So after you've got the link, we're going to look at how you're going to promote that. Uh, some, some normal methods are going to be out of the question because you don't have a website. So blogging and all the kind of stuff won't be possible. But what you can do, for example, is use YouTube. I like YouTube because uh, it makes it possible to uh, put your affiliate links uh, in websites without needing to add them because some platforms really don't like affiliate links. YouTube isn't one of them. So for example, I'm just going to show you how I use some of these videos for affiliate products that I personally recommend. So for example, here we have the Thrive Architect uh, and I've made reviews, how to's, tutorials and all that kind of stuff about it just to show you how it works and promote it that way. So how do you make a personal video? It's actually simple. You just put your own experience of the product. You'll just show them the features, uh, the benefits, uh, what it's all about, some basic information and give your general conclusion. And that's about it. But what is important if you're going to do it on YouTube is you're going to have to put the keywords you are targeting at certain places. So you, so YouTube knows what kind of video it is. So for this video, I use the keyword Thrive Architect Reveal. So as you can see here in the title, I have the name Thrive Architect Reveal. In the thumbnail that you can see here, you'll see Thrive Architect as a picture, but you also see Reveal as a word in it. Then in the description, I've also put Thrive Architect and the word Reveal in it. And then here, if we go down, you can also see the tags uh, that I use, the video tags. And these are, as you can see here, the Strive Teams Reveal, Thrive Architect Reveal. I just use the keywords that are mostly targeted for this video. And that's how you can do that with all your products. And then you can start making videos, not only about the reveal itself, but how to's, tutorials, where you need to use this specific program and then put the affiliate link in the description for people that are interested in it. So it's basically just as simple as that. And if you make enough of these videos and they start to rank, you start getting views. So the second way we can promote the product is by using Facebook. So instead of making an entire website with a page that refers people to the affiliate links, you're going to make a Facebook page and use that Facebook page to refer people to the uh, affiliate link. So for example, let's go to one of my pages. So you're just going to make a simple page that people can like. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put uh, the links to, instead of putting the links to your website, uh, you're going to put a affiliate link here. And then in all the content and pictures you're going to upload, you're going to refer people to the website link. And that's where they, uh, uh, which, which is the affiliate link uh, to get them to the affiliate offers. So you might be wondering, how do I get people to this page? Because normally you only know your friend circle, but you don't know who to target after that. Well, there are multiple ways to do that. So for example, on Digistore24, uh, we requested a link for the prop challenge, which is a product that has to do with financial markets and day trading and all that kind of stuff. So we need, we need to find people that are interested in day trading. While Facebook is kind of dead for the social things, uh, a lot of people still are there in niche groups. So for example, if we put in day trading, and we're going to look at that, we should be able to find some groups. 
Mm, let's see which group is respectable. Okay, stocks and day trading for beginners. As you can see here, I'm now on the Facebook. It has 4.1 thousand members. Okay. Then we go to the people and we can see an entire list with all the members uh, that, uh, that are signed up to this. And since it's a very niche group and you know it's for stocks and day trading for beginners, you know that all these people are that. So what you can do is basically invite them all uh, for your page. And then uh, if, they, if they like it, they can like your content and you can refer them that way. So all these Facebook pages basically have their own list that you can use uh, to get them to your uh, affiliate offers. What's going to be the tricky thing is, is actually refer, optimizing your Facebook page uh, for people to actually go to your affiliate offer. So as you can, so as you saw with my page that I had there, it's not really that optimized uh, for for giving people directly to affiliate links. That's mostly because I do it with a website. But if I were to do it only with a affiliate link, then the first thing first would be the banner would be about the product. It wouldn't be about uh, like the themes in general that I'm going for. It's like, uh, would you like, it would be something like day trading for beginners. If you want to make money now, click on the link in the description with the arrow uh, pointing downstairs and all the content that I would make for Facebook uh, through YouTube videos and maybe Pinterest uh, would all direct to those same links. So in this video, I'm not going to go over that. Uh, in the future, I'm probably going to make a video with a specific Facebook page that is geared towards uh, referring people immediately to a affiliate product. But I think that's something for another time. So I showed you how you can get your affiliate links, uh, how you can promote them using YouTube or Facebook in a simple way. Oh, also before I forget, if you're going to use the Facebook way uh, and you're going to add people, add a max of 10 people a day because otherwise Facebook is going to uh, think it's going to be spam and they're going to block your account. So just take that with you. But yeah, I've showed you that the promotion, uh, and yeah, you could basically try it out after this video. Do I recommend uh, doing affiliate marketing without a website? Not really, because uh, it limits you in a lot of ways, because there are a lot of affiliate programs that uh, really think it's important to make a page. And if you can make a website or a page, you can use email marketing, which going to which could increase your chance of making a sale because you're communicating with them over multiple days. And I have, I'm going to put a video in the description about how you can do that as well. Uh, but it's definitely possible to do it. I've seen a lot of people make a lot of money doing it without a website, but if it were me personally, I probably wouldn't do that. So yeah, if you have any questions about this, just put a comment in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So that's all I want to say for today. This is Rocher here from Real Digital Success saying peace.